Hi guys, Ru here with Naritude for Blender and today I want to show you a few things about Mira Tools. Now don't get wet because I'm going to show you everything, but I'll show you enough so you can get excited. And Mira Tools is brilliant, okay? That tool is fucking amazing. So um, what we're going to do is uh, talk about Curve Stretch, okay? That's, um, that's a tool from uh, this panel. So if you go to End Panel after you install Mira Tools, you're going to see it in here. However, this bloody tool is so good that it's been incorporated into Hardops. So if you go to Hardops by pressing Q invert mode, you can go to plugin and you're gonna see it in here. Now, how to install Mira Tools? That's easy, okay? Go to Mira Tools um, website on GitHub. So simply type Mira Tools and um, GitHub and you're gonna get there. And then go to this link, right? And download it. And then when you unzip it, you, you can't install it from a zip like that. There's just a lot of junk in it, okay? So you need to find inside the folder, which is uh, called 2.8, Blender 2.8. And then go inside and grab the Mira Tool folder and simply drag and drop it into your add-on folder. Then launch Blender again and simply install it as usual, per, you know, from preferences and, you know, just type Mira. And you click here, save prefs, and you're good to go. Now, how do you use it? Well... As I said, you can use it from Hardops. So all I do uh, to access it via Hardops, I press Ctrl Shift tilde. This shortcut will not work if you do not have Hardops installed. Yeah, so buy Hardops if you don't have it, and preferably a bundle with box cutter. And if you don't have it, I'm leaving a link in the description uh, so you can go there and grab it. And now, how do you use Mirror Tools? To make it work, you need to have selected at least three verts, okay? So one, two, three, right? I'm gonna select more. I'm gonna select maybe this many, okay? And go to the top view. Actually, that's maybe too many. All right, now press Control shift tilde and you have this pop-up menu. And if you scroll your mouse, you can go from two to 12. These are numbers of dots on the curve. Let's go to two and let me show you what happens. Left click to apply and right click to leave the tool. However, you could do this with Blender, right? I mean, you, you technically could go to Edge and go S, X and 0, right? And then just move the Edge, uh, you know, this way, right? Same thing, more or less. However, you can't do in Blender this. So let's go to 2 and then watch this. I can move this whole bunch of words at once, right? This is really powerful. Why is it powerful? Well, imagine you combine this with a line tool from machine. So let's move it in here. By the way, I'm always in orthographic mode because, you know, you want this flat view, right? So not perspective, orthographic. Now let's align it. So I'm going to have these verts selected. Then I'm going to click on this one, Alt A and left. And that's machine tools and mirror together. I mean, you're fucking unstoppable with this shit, you know what I mean? Uh, but check this out, there's more. Oh, there's more. So I'm going to select all these and go Control shift tilde right? And then go to maybe four uh, dots on the line. And then you see these dots pop up, right? Now I can move them individually the way I want. So you could do something like this, or you could go back to a full silk circle. So you could, you know, re um, get your shape back. But this is not a perfect circle, you say. Well, no problem. Right click, select all, and then Control Shift tilde, go to 12, and boom. And there's your circle. So that's how powerful this tool is. And then, of course, you can move it to position. Mira tools will not um, will not pull Geo um, above the base of the, of the face. So what I mean is by that is that, let's say I'm at an angle, right? And I'm going to select these verts here. And I'm going to go Control shift tilde and go to two verts only. If I go, you know, if I cl left click, you see, it's just going to straighten this edge, right? So it will not actually move this edge, um, you know, not going to move it like this, which is great. So you can do it in perspective. However, when you do, for example, curving, right? Um, so, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it's it's best to be in, 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 in orthographic because you simply... You know, you, you're moving the verts on a flat surface, right? So it's just more precise. But again, um, you can do whatever you want with it. You know, it's it's really powerful. 
Other tools here I don't really use, but they're quite powerful uh, too, especially when you're doing stuff like, for example, organic uh, modeling. So you could, you know, you could do stuff like this. Uh, grab this face, draw extrude, and you could, you know, have fun with some freestyle uh, extrusions, you know, if you do some crazy forest or whatever. But, you know, I don't use it for hard surface, so um, I don't really need it. But again, it's there if you want it. There is a whole description of this add-on on the author website, so you can go and read it if you want. This tool can do some pretty amazing stuff, but again, Curve Stretch is the one I, I use, and I use it literally in every model I create, because I always run to problems that need fixing, and Mira Tools is just a bloody answer. That's it for the vid, guys. Give me a like and sub if you did enjoy it, and I'll talk to you in the next one.